All right, guys, so this part, this is from a previous video that I recorded, but I wanted to uh, show you on a more contrasting paint how you can see the difference between an area that was polished uh, with blend AIO and an area that wasn't polished. So that top section, that's where there is uh, some 3000 grit sanding marks. And if you look down below, uh, I'm gonna show here, that's where I polished with uh, Blend AIO uh, all in one. So that really shows a good contrast of what this stuff is capable of. So I just wanted to put that in the video so you could really see a difference there. How's it going everybody? Martin with Belvoir Auto Spa. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it and uh, hopefully you enjoy the videos, this one and many more. So today I've got a, uh, this is a uh, sponsored video, uh, sponsored by Detail Ground, thank you Detail Ground. It's going to be about Vonix Blend, specifically the all-in-one polish. So quick word about Detail Ground since they're sponsoring this video, uh, Detail Ground, detailground.com. Uh, they are a detailing supplier and shop based out of Orlando. They've got same day shipping uh, with certain order minimums. If you live in the Orlando area, you can go to the shop and pick up. They offer wholesale. Uh, they carry chemicals and equipment, um, all kinds of brands. Uh, and these are most of the major brands I'm gonna list off. Flex, Rupes, Max Shine, IK, MTM, Lake Country, Vonix, CarPro, Gion, Griots, Sonax, PNS. So if you uh, like any of those brands, uh, they all have they carry polishers as well. If you like any of those brands, uh, check out my discount code in the description below. They'll give you 10% off your order at Detail Ground. Um, so definitely check them out. And Detail Ground, thanks again for sponsoring this video. So anyways, guys, uh, this is going to be uh, Vonix Blend, specifically the all-in-one polish. <clears throat> so Vonix um, is a company based out of Brazil. They own a carnauba plantation, so they do make and refine their own carnauba wax. Um, lost my train of thought. Yeah, so the blend is uh, specifically a blend of their, basically their native, which is uh, right here, uh, which is really high quality carnauba wax, and ceramic. So they made blend, which is a ceramic uh, carnauba paste wax. Uh, they've got a spray wax, and they've also got the all-in-one polish. So we're going to be going over the all-in-one polish in this video. Uh, I've got my buddy's car here. Um, I went ahead and prepped it. So if you are going to be using this product, ideally you're going to want to prep the paint. So wash the car in clay bar minimum, which is basically what I did. It didn't need iron remover. Um, so it's, it's a nice uh, kind of almost pearl paint. So it's, it's going to look really nice. But um, I'm going to show you guys how effective this stuff is at removing scratches and swirls. I've done a few other videos on it as well if you want to check those out. It can remove 3000 grit sanding marks, no problem. And um, it, it leaves a great finish, super easy wipe off. Um, I've done a black done black paint with it. it, looked amazing on black paint. We're going to be doing white paint this time, but uh, let's just get a look at the bottle here. So really nice labeling, uh, it says it'll give you approximately four months of protection. Oh, it's so hard to read. Non-dusting. So not a dusty formula, it's just true. Up to four months of protection. Um, so if we look at the back here, if we can get that to focus. So let me just read it to you guys, okay? Blend All-in-One is a single stage polishing compound that also promotes protection to the paint. It protects the paint for up to four months and combines the gloss of Carnuba with the ceramic resistance of SiO2, in addition to significant water beating effect. Its high cutting power estimates, eliminates, excuse me, medium to severe swirls and marks. This is so small, and I'm, I'm, I'm struggling reading this. Comparable to P2000 or finer sandpapers. Leaving an excellent finish at the same time. Oh my god. Okay, this is, this is too much it's too much to read all, all at once. I'm, I apologize. Um, but you can pause it and read it if you want to. Uh, they say use a... I mean, they give a lot of very specific instructions. And you give this a one hour cure time before exposing it to water. Um, I've used it on a test panel that I, I put some nice uh, swirl marks in. I polished it so you can clearly see how the polish works. Uh, and we'll see the water behavior on that. Um, but let me grab my polisher and pad. Let's get over to the car and uh, we'll take a look and see. 
All right, so that's kind of tough to see because this is white paint, right? But uh, the camera actually picks it up better than my eyes do. Uh, this paint's pretty hazy, as you can see. You look at the reflection of the light there. So I'm going to hit this test spot uh, with the polisher and the pad. Uh, so I'm going to be using a force rotation polisher with a um, with a Lake Country uh, orange pad, HDO orange, which is uh, one of their polishing pads. It's it's one of my favorite pads to use. And uh, we're going to inspect this test spot after just to show you guys how it looks. All right, so you're going to want to make sure you shake up the bottle nice and well so it's all mixed in. And I know I don't have the best lighting in here right now, but because I'm doing an all-in-one, um, I'm not looking, for, I'm just looking for, you know, basically when you're using an all-in-one, you're just doing a quick pass over, you're not doing anything crazy. And uh, I don't care to set my lights up for that because I'm honestly not looking for a serious defect removal. I'm just looking for gloss and uh, we're going to see gloss. I already see gloss because I played the paint, but we're going to see even more gloss. So we'll get this started. All right, comes out as like a nice... Uh, Paste, it's not super runny like some all in ones. Alright, here we go. Grab a towel, and we'll wipe that off. We'll take the paint off first, or the paint. We're not going to take the paint off. We'll take the tape off first, and uh, we'll wipe off and inspect. See how it looks. What I like about all-in-ones, guys, is you don't have to, uh, no prep spray or anything like that. Like, once you work it on, wipe it off, you're good to go. Let's go in and inspect and see how that looks. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's the area we polished. And again, it's tough to see. But this is outside the polished area. See that swirl and haze? You can see the line right there. So that's how much of an improvement you can expect just from a quick pass. Like, look at that. Go over here. Super hazy. Come back over here. Nice and clear. So uh, I'm going to show you a few other things too. Uh, next we're going to do the glass because this glass is pretty water spotted up and um, this will this will apply protection to the glass while it um, removes a lot of those lighter water spots so let's check that out all right so here we got a back window you can see my smiling face in the reflection not smiling but you get the idea so if I hold this light on the glass you can see all those little water spots and crap, and that's even after the glass being cleaned. So, you can use this to polish the glass and get a lot of those, uh, see those water spots right there? This will get off lighter water spots. Heavy water spots are going to need heavy cut compound. Um, but this will just be good to, you know, clean up the glass, make it look nice and clear. So, my pad's already got polish on it, I only need that one spot. Let's go ahead and get this window done.
Yeah, forced rotation polishers will jerk you around a little bit, so just keep that in mind. So now that we got that on the glass, we got some nice protected ceramic wax protection on the glass. Go ahead and wipe it off. A bit tougher to wipe off in some spots in the glass. If you need to, you can just spritz it with some water. It's probably generating a little bit too much heat. No, no, not really. Spritz it with some water. That'll help you get the uh, water off the pad or the spots of polish off. All right. Now let's take a look. So you see some polish residue on there, but remember that big patch of water spots that was right here? There's still a few left. And you can make another pass or just go slower, but the glass is looking a lot better. Um, and there are some, this again, this is a, my, buddy, my buddy's got kids, so you can see their fingerprints on the inside of the glass there. Um, but the glass on the outside is smooth and clear. Most of the water spots are gone, so works pretty good on that. So next, um, we'll just go ahead and uh, I'll do a part of this door panel on camera for you guys. I'll kind of time lapse it just so you can see uh, the the form, yada yada, and uh, if if you're new to polishing, so you can kind of get an idea how to do it. Um, also, before that, I'm going to show you because you might ask how many pads you need. I'm the wrong person to ask that because I am a person that cleans their pads. So you can clean your pad out with a compressed air, or what I like to use is a Lake Country pad washer. Um, so I'll show you that real quick. All right, so this is a Lake Country pad washer. I've got a full video on it. Um, got some stickers on it too, but it's basically a bucket pad washing system. So I've already got it pre-filled. Pre and actually, when you press down on this, you can see water comes up. I've got a mixture of a pad washer solution mixed in with the water. So see how the pad, pad's not even dirty, but this is, again, just a demonstration. Put it on low speed. When you crank up the speed to dry it out. And then you've got a clean pad. Now, because this is a forced rotation machine, it does not spin, or it doesn't rotate as fast as a dual action or a rotary polisher. So these like to hold on to a lot of that moisture. So if you're using a forced rotation, what I like to do is just get a microfiber, press up on the pad, get all that excess moisture out. Now you got a nice damp pad. And uh, believe it or not, when your pad's damp, it does work better. Um, some people argue that though. But let me just show you guys a portion of the car in a time lapse just so you can see how it's done.
<coughs> excuse me so just to show you guys the, the results here so this is just with one quick pass I'm not overlapping well, I'm overlapping as I go back and forth but I'm not like you know you know what I mean I'm not doing a cross hatch pattern but if we go over here this is where it hasn't been polished this is where it has been polished takes the camera a second to focus but you can see some of the light scratches and haze again this paint's not too bad and it is white so it's a little harder to see but then there's no all the little scratches are gone I mean, I think all the scratches are gone considering the condition of this paint, but it wasn't that bad to start, but you can still see some light scratches here. You gotta really look for them. But anyways, that's uh, basically how you use it. It is safe on trim. I won't stain your trim. I hit the trim down here uh, ju just for that reason. It will ma make it a little white, but it wipes off easily. Um, but you can see up here, the trim is not stained. I just gotta wipe that off the window a little bit better, but that's about the gist of it guys, so the stuff is pretty good. Um, I'm going to show you its water behavior next, uh, just so you can see how it performs uh, once it's uh, all cured and everything. Alright, so we're outside of the test panel, so I went over this with a wool pad just to scuff it up. Uh, so you can see the outline right here. This is where I polished it with blend. So outside here there's no protection, right here there's blend. Now because this is all polished paint, it doesn't hold onto the water like a uh, dirty, scratched up, contaminated paint wood, but you'll see a clear difference. See that? See outside the square, the water sticks and floods, but inside, it just repels it immediately. It's a little easier to see in this setting. Yeah, it just repels that water away. And then if we flood it, it just repels it away. Now it's not as good as say uh, Synergy or SiO2 Pro, but definitely very good. Pretty good stuff and then of course you can layer it up with the blend spray you can go over it with the blend wax um but yeah guys i'm gonna finish doing this car and pull it out in the sun and i'm gonna show you how it looks when it's all polished up a blend and uh then we'll take it from there all right something i forgot to mention um if you get your working surface a little too hot um and the polish is hard to remove you can kind of see in the light uh, there's some polishing residue that's a little tough to come off. Um, if you have, I said use water earlier, but you can just use the blend spray wax and spray it on. I'm sorry, I'm trying to record this one handed. And then just wipe it off. And that will reactivate formula a little bit make it easy to wipe off without compromising the performance of the product so now you can see nice and clear all right just wanted to show that let me get, get uh, around the rest of this all right so here's the finished result it's a really nice metallic white color tires dressed up to make them look nice as well but you can see that shine you get that nice uh, waxed warm glow kind of look uh, it's on the windows too got the roof it's looking good so I mean blend is a blend all-in-one is a great product and then if you go over it again with uh, the blend spray wax Looks even better. Anyways, uh, let me go grab a hose and I'll show you a little water behavior on the paint itself. I know I already showed you, but I'm gonna show you again. All right, so it's definitely had an hour to cure. 
nice water beads. Water's not sticking. And this paint was completely bare. So that's just after, you know, like an hour or so of curing. If you leave it for even longer, um, I'm sure it'll, it'll uh, be even better beads. And then you can just blow dry your car after that, make it nice and easy. Uh, anyways, let's go in for our final thoughts. Alrighty, so Vonix Blend All-in-One. It is a magnificent product, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, if you're going to if you're gonna buy this, go ahead and buy the spray wax with it. Spray wax is pretty cheap. Um, it, it works great to, if, like I was using the force rotation polisher, it works great to help get any uh, polish that got too hot and kind of sticky to get it off. Uh, but it also works great for a final wipe down, so you can get any uh, polishing residue you might miss without messing up the protection in it. Um, and it just looks immaculate. It smells great too. It's a very nice, fresh scent. Kind of smells like you're doing laundry, in a sense. Um, it's the only way I can describe it. It smells very good. And you get that nice four months protection. Now, there's also SiO2 Pro if you want just pure ceramic. That gives you also about four months of protection. Or if you want the ultimate protection, uh, as I've reviewed already, we got Synergy Paint Carbon Ceramic Blend, uh, Carbol Siloxi. Uh, Synergy Paint will last up to a year. Um, so, great products all around. And they got the Blend Paste Wax. This is the Black Edition. Uh, they also have a regular edition. Black Edition just looks nicer on darker paints. And the other one looks nicer on lighter paints, but either of them will work for either. Um, but that's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and um, you know, let me know if you enjoy this type of video. Uh, other than that, I appreciate you all watching. I'll see you in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.